is the greatest Vancouver Canuck of all time. We're marking the return of BC's number one sports obsession with a special series beginning tonight. And you can vote on your favorite. Squire Barnes has more about that, Squire. Thanks very much, Tony. Yes, starting tonight, we will look uh, at what we feel are the best seven Canucks of all time. Some are obvious choices. Others are not so obvious, especially to younger fans and new fans. We're going to begin with the only defenseman who made the list of the Magnificent Seven. That's Harold Snaps. He wasn't the most talented guy, didn't score a lot of goals, but he was a true folk hero for Canuck fans who loved him unconditionally during good times and bad. That's it, Ryan Hall. Harold has to rank uh, right up at the top a player who made it to the greatest league in hockey through hard work. Certainly in popularity, you know, one of the most popular players ever to uh, play uh, in a Canuck uniform. And a bit of a mix up now, steps. He was a guy not with the most skill out there, but you knew by effort he was going to get the job done. And he got the job done most nights. And with the size that he had out there, he was challenged every night. And he stood up for his teammates, stood up for himself. And the biggest thing in the end for me with Harold is that he wanted to win every night. There's an unwritten rule that says when you're putting together a list of greats, all of your candidates should have great statistics. But when you look at Harold Snepp's career, he didn't follow unwritten rules to get to the NHL. So why should we? Well, Harold and I go back to our junior days in Edmonton Foil Kings. We were teammates, and, you know, I look at Harold um, when he played junior. He was a guy that couldn't skate very well, couldn't handle the puck very well, was the guy that we would just say, Harold, sick him. And he'd go out there, and he was a great battler and a good fighter back then. And if there's a guy in the National Hockey League that worked on his game to become a quality all-star player in the National Hockey League and make it when many people said he couldn't do it, is Harold Snaps. From the Vancouver Canucks, number 27, defenseman Harold Snaps. All right, even though a Harold Snaps goal came around with the frequency of your average comic, he played in two NHL All-Star games. Harold Snaps from the point. They score! He spent 11 and a half years with the Canucks. Drafted by Vancouver in 74, he was traded away, brought back as a free agent, and then traded away one more time. In those 11 and a half years, he basically averaged three goals a season, 35 in total. So this is a man who connected with Canuck fans on a much different level. People always love to see the goal scorers and the fancy players. Uh, I don't think they can relate to uh, these type of players as they can to myself. Uh, I just go out there, I, I give it 110%. I don't have the world's uh, talent uh, you know, in his, his body. And so what I do give, I think everybody can relate to what, uh, what I do on the ice. There are many snap stories that give you an insight into his anything for the team personality. But this one says it best of all. In 1978, a rookie named Stan Smeal took a run at Harold in his first day at training camp. Normally, that's a no-no for any freshman. But Harold saw Stan Smeal's hit much differently than anyone else. And I'll never forget Harold at that time, and this is a, the type of player and a teammate that he was, was after I hit him, and uh, uh, later on, I think it would have been when we were playing, he just came up to me and he grabbed me and he says, that's what we need here. He says, don't let anything bother you as a player. You keep doing those things. And, uh, you know, so you always knew uh, with Harold that he was going to be there. I mean, when you talk about just give us an honest night's work, you thought of Harold Steps because you knew you were going to get it. The fans loved him. You know, those chants of Harold, Harold. To show you just how much Harold was loved, you have to reference the darkest moment of his career. Game one of the 82 Stanley Cup final, the Canucks take the Islanders to overtime. 12 seconds left in the first overtime. But a bad pass by Snaps late in that first overtime period to, of all people, Mike Bossy, erased Vancouver's chance for an upset. Anyone else would have been vilified. When the Canucks returned home for game number three, Harold was given a hero's welcome. I was on the ice when that happened, and uh, you're always concerned of what sort of reaction you're going to get um, from, from the fans and that... Uh, 
uh, lunch bu bucket um, that he brought every night that people could relate to, you know, Harold could relate to them. Harold has to go down as one of the great characters uh, in Canucks history, it really does, and he made it because he was determined and he paid every sacrifice to get the job done. He didn't have a lot of talent, but boy, he had a lot of heart. Now you can have your say on who you think the best Canuck of all time is. We also have a list of players who didn't make the final seven, but perhaps you think they should have. And you have a chance to win Canuck tickets. Just log on to GlobalTV.com and then go search word Greatest Canuck and you'll find the uh, voting list. Tomorrow night we'll look at the career of Thomas Gardine and we'll have uh, a little more sports after Tony does a little more news. Tony.